I use different types of coffee, but the key word is that it has to be organic. The first one is Detox Enema Coffee. And another one that I also like to use, which I'm gonna use in this video, is the Gaston Therapy Coffee, which is also organic. Here is a quick guidance on how to prepare the coffee enema. You can just pause it and read through it and you'll figure out how to prepare the enema. But I'll also show you through the video on how to do it. Place your pot on the stove and then add one liter of distilled water or spring water and then bring it to the boil. I then add three tablespoons of the organic coffee and bring it to the boil, then reduce the heat and let it simmer for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes of simmering, uh, sieve the contents of the coffee and then let it cool for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes because you don't want it to be too hot and also you don't want it to be too cold. So 30 minutes is a good amount of time to let it cool down. Here I just weighed myself for fun just to see at the end of the video how much junk in weight I was going to lose afterwards. So why should you do a coffee enema you may ask? You have to know that coffee enema represents a form of dialysis of the blood across the gut wall since when you do an enema it is held you, you hold it inside your colon for maybe between 10 to 15 minutes and all the blood in the body passes through the liver every three minutes three to four minutes so when you do a coffee enema it targets the liver and when you remember that the blood passes through the liver every three to four minutes it's a form of dialysis of the blood it cleanses your blood and also the benefits are very many including the following. It stimulates the liver to dump bile by dilating bile ducts. It stimulates peristalsis across the transverse colon, and it also prom promotes the glutathione pathway in the liver. Uh, I, ca I can go in depth in, the in this, but I'm not gonna do it now because there are several pathways in the liver. I can do this as a separate uh, video, but you just have to remember that it promotes glutathione pathway in the liver and it also removes any excess fermentation from the cecum. So it's very beneficial to do coffee enemas. So this is the complete setup, complete with the coffee enema cleansing kit. So now guys, we're ready for action. Our coffee has cooled down already and we have it in the bathroom. Then now you make sure that the clamp is totally closed down. So that when you start pouring the coffee into the bag that no liquid can pass through the the clamp After 
after you ensure that all the content is in the bag open up the clamp and ensure that there's a complete flow of the coffee down the pipe without any air bubbles i had to do it a few times before that could happen but don't give up keep doing it until there's a complete continuous flow of the coffee without any air bubbles now ladies and gentlemen we are ready for the fun bit insert the end of the pipe or nozzle inside of your colon area once you're done with that you just need to relax take a breath in and out open up the clamp so that you can have a continuous flow of coffee inside your colon and relax and then ensure that all the contents of the bag goes inside your colon So here I'm not going to say much because ha, this is evacuation time. So I will not say much, but I'll just tell you that it feels so good. <laughs> you're all done make sure that you cleanse your you clean your your coffee enema kit very well make sure there's no residue in the in the pipes just clean it very well and then store it for the next time you're going to use it just for fun i i weighed myself again because woo, the evacuation that happened i literally lost almost a kilo so yes some people use this for weight loss i personally don't but yeah some people do it and i literally almost lost a kilo after all that successful morning that i had in my detox and in my cleansing with the coffee enema i was not going to put any junk in my body again i just had strawberries and bananas and i also had um milk kefir that i prepared myself at home i'm going to link a video here so that you can you can go and watch it on how i made my homemade kefir and that's all i had for the day rather for the morning much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed watching my detox uh, routine which this day happened to be a coffee enema please don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos thank you so much and see you in my next video bye